Manla Aji Aida, see Aji's um, simple cooking. So today what I have for you guys is um, rice stick with lamb shanks. So what I did was I'm gonna cook the lamb shank like a mishri, come mishri lako togate. So the must season lamb shank, pidema la the season. So today what I have here is the lamb shank. And then what I'm what I seasoned it with was uh, garlic plus some of this jerk seasoning, Dijon mustard, black pepper, and uh, Himalayan pink salt, and a little bit of um, Maggi cube, and then some spice, spicy brown mustard. So what that's what I have, um, and this is gonna go in the oven for two hours. Just slow cook it in the oven for two hours and then I'm going to get, get it out later. So let's put this in the oven and then I will move forward with the rice stick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this right here. I'm going to season it with some of my um, smoked paprika. I already put some salt in it, so I'm going to put some smoked paprika. Some of that... Um, seasoning the garlic plus seasoning and some black pepper this is going to come in later so this is going to go in the oven and this is going to come into the um mix it together and from this i'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and this will come in later come into the rice stick later So let's put this in the oven. So now let's start with our cooking. So this is the nokas we have right here. So what the, what I have in here is the um, ginger, garlic, pepper. That's the serrano pepper, black pepper and some cani, some cani hen. This is just the having, um, jalapeno peppers, the spicy pepper. So I'm gonna blend this, this is gonna be the knockers later. So I'm gonna blend it and I'm gonna put it in here. So now, this is the other, this is what I'm gonna saute in here. So what I have here, this is the green onions, yellow onions, garlic, some of that habanero pepper, some jalapeno peppers, serrano peppers. So that's what I blended together. And some, some little bit of ginger and some smoked paprika. So that's, this is what I have in here. So this is what I'm gonna saute. So now this is the shrimp. This is gonna go in there, it's a big shrimp. So I'm gonna season this as well. I'm gonna season it with some black um, smoked paprika some salt okay so the oil is a little hot now so now I'm gonna go ahead and fry this in there so what I would put was this is just a vegetable oil I just put a little bit of oil when it comes to um, rice stick it does not like a lot of oil so you really wanna you really wanna be um, stingy with the oil. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is whilst that is frying in there. Um, um, okay. So you don't wanna overcook it because otherwise it's gonna be really dry. So you don't put bugatita right? See oil because it's gonna come in later. So that's what's happening right now. This is gonna come in later. Let's put it aside over here. So now, let's put in our nokos. You want to be patient with this. So I'm going to see them up. Uh, 
and, and then what I have here, that's the shrimp powder. So this brings a little bit of um, flavor, a really good flavor into the, the cooking. So I'm, I usually put this in there. So now let's put in our smoked paprika. And you want to be really generous with the smoked paprika. Also brings a lot of flavor into the cooking. It brings in that depth of um, smokiness into the cooking. So really, you don't want to forget that one. Alright, see, you want to keep on going now. Really, don't go to the doctor. Don't go to the doctor. <laughs> so you yeah, continue to rest. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of the nokas. I'm just gonna put it in there, and the rest is gonna come in later. Oh, I wish you guys could smell that, that ginger and that pepper. Oh my goodness, smells so good in here. Alright guys, so what I have here is the rice stick right there. So rice stick with mom la amefi. So this is gonna be going in there later. So what I did was with the rice stick, I um so I put it in I put it in lukewarm water. So you don't want to put hot water in there. Because if you put in hot water, it's gonna be too sticky. You want the rice stick to be al dente, not too sticky. So I just put in lukewarm water, so and then I drain the water, and this is what I have. So what you want to do, just do that and let it sit. Wait for it to sit, and wait for that to cook, because it's pretty easy. And what I did was I um, broke the rice stick into pieces, little pieces. So that's why I have these little tiny pieces. And you will see it later on once it's done in there, you will see it how it looks, okay? So there you have the rice. All right. So now we got in this ingredient in the So this is the garlic plus, and this is what's in there. Garlic plus. So I'm going to put this in there, and this is the um, shrimp powder, and that, there you go, shrimp powder, and this is going to go in there too. Now, this is the noir seasoning, the chicken flavor, and there you go, it's going to go in there, and you just keep mixing. So most likely I might not add this. This is just there for taste. Usually I don't add the Maggi Cube, but I just like to have it around for taste to add if I need to add more taste. So this is what I put in there, but most likely I'm not gonna add it in there. There you go. So now I'm gonna put my fish sauce, fish sauce. Uh, with this one, I don't kind of measure. I just kind of put in what I um, what I feel like. This is the golden seasoning sauce, the one with the green cap. I put a little bit of that. 
this is the oyster sauce and if you forget anything make sure you don't forget this one because this brings a lot of flavor to the sauce and then this goes in there so be more number day juta rex sorted no lot of it juta sorted All right, and this is the soy sauce. Soy sauce. I put in a little bit of the soy sauce. There you go. I'm just kind of mix it. All right. There you go, guys. Because otherwise, your rice stick is going to be too oily. And nobody wants an oily rice stick. So, yes, you want to take the oil out. Okay, this is all the oil I got from there. Oh, this tastes so good. So, so, so good. Like right now, the mawani is safarabi. Then I'm going to put the rest of the mocha. I'm going to put the rest of this. And now I'm going to put my rice stick. There you go. So, leggy mom, so it's being the regular. So, there you go. That's my rice stick. I'm just going to put it in there and mix it. All right, just put it in there and mix it. So you're going to have a really nice and tasty rice stick. This is a muscle builder. It's really difficult. But you just want to put it in there and mix. So at this point, all of my rice stick is coated. So now I'm going to put the shrimp in there. And just mix it. And then the chicken it will come in later. Okay, nicely coated, evenly coated too. Alrighty, so now I'm going to taste it and then we'll cover it to cook, slow cook. 
I still have a little bit of rice stick left. I'm going to put this in the freezer and then I'll use it later. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. So, so good. All right, guys. Now let's cover it and let it cook. Slowly cook it for maybe, I would say, 10 minutes and then you're all done. All right, guys, so now we are almost to the end. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the chicken. It's out of the oven, piping hot. I'm just going to put it in here. Mix it. Mix it with the rest of the ingredients. And just let it cook a little bit and then it's all done okay so this is so this is all done this is what you want with the rice stick but it would oil no oil not a lot of oil in it and it's nice and tasty so this is our lamb shank right here and it's all done so now it's time to assemble. I'm going to use this to garnish. So this is um, cilantro. Use it to garnish. All right, guys. This is the end product. That's the um, rice stick with um, shrimp and some chicken wings. And that's the lamb shank um, mishwi. So there you go. This tastes beautiful and the taste is really good. The, the lamb shank is nice and tender. I'm, I'm sure you guys are going to love this. So be mom nak mom manko jack lels my sister Evdiba. Thank you guys. Without her, all these wouldn't be possible. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Please like, subscribe. And um, hit the notification bell so I know you guys are enjoying these videos. Next time, I would make more videos. And stay tuned for more yummy food. Thank you. Bye.